The answer is four, but second nah, it's bad, bad question rank, in my opinion. Udusei! Udusei! Konnichiwa, it's Yukon Hero Reach Shika Shitanai Jamie Des. And this is the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese university entrance exams. Uh, now, change of setting, where am I? I am back home uh, in the south of England in my small little town um, for Christmas holidays. So, universities in, in England usually give about a month uh, time off. So that we can go home, spend Christmas with our family. Then, anyway, today we are looking at the Center Shiken, um, the center exam, the Japanese University Center exam. Let's jump right in. Question number one. Casey was getting worried because the bus going to the airport was clearly blank schedule. After, behind, late, slow. Okay, uh, I think fairly easy. Question one, fairly easy. The only word you can use here is behind, answer number two. If something is behind schedule, it is running late. The bus came after it was supposed to. Means it was late, uh, didn't come when it was meant to. Behind schedule, obviously late. And on to question two. If you are in a hurry, you should call double quick taxi because they usually come in blank time. Uh, any, few, no, some. Slightly harder than question one. I think um, the well, the answer here is three. No time. So if you say something comes in no time, it doesn't mean no time, zero. It means very, very quickly, immediately, as quickly as he can. That's uh, what no time means here. Remember, time is. Uh, I'm an English teacher, and I just forgot my own language. <laughs> Nah. Um, time is uncountable. You can't have one, two, three times. It doesn't make sense. Uh, unless... Wait. Okay. Time? Like, a clock? Uncountable. I've just ruined my whole argument. Nah. Right, okay. Times can also mean events. Like, oh, I've seen him a few times. English is a very hard language. <laughs> Question number three. After blank dropping the expensive glass vase, or vase, I would say vase, Americans say vase, James decided not to touch any other objects in the store. I'm James in this situation. Uh, very clumsy. Almost, at most, most, mostly. Um... After almost dropping, at most dropping, most dropping, mostly dropping. Yeah. So the answer here is, uh, I just got a text. Ooh, somebody likes me. Right. The answer here is number one, uh, almost. Um, I think very easy question. I think um, if you almost do something, it means you don't do it, but you nearly did. Uh, my brain is fried. Um yeah, I, I almost got to Masters on League of Legends last year. I stayed stuck in Diamond, but I nearly got there. I got to Diamond 1, but didn't get to Master. So after nearly dropping the vase that is very, very expensive, uh, he decided, let's not touch anything else, which, good, good on James. American English, it's vase, the northern accents of England, uh, also says vase. But I, being the posh southern boy I am, says Vaz. Question number four. We should make the changes to the document quickly, as we are blank out of time. Going, running, spending, wasting. So I think this is like a, a in the middle question. Not very easy, but also not very difficult. Um, quite a normal question. Blank out of time. There's only one word that fits here, and it is number two, running. Uh, if you are running out of time, it means, you know, currently it is 3.45. I want this video done by 4 o'clock, which means I'm running out of time to complete this video because I only have 15 minutes left. could also waste time. We should make the changes to the document quickly as we are wasting time, means they've spent so long doing something else. The answer is 2, running out of time. 
Question number five. It was impossible to blank everyone's demands about the new project. Carry, complete, hold, meet. Uh, oh, that sounds like a bit of a poem. It rhymes. Anyway. Uh, it was impossible to carry everyone's demands, complete everyone's demands, hold everyone's demands. Okay. Um, yeah, got it. The uh, Quite difficult, I think, this one. I, I think it's quite difficult. Just because the language, the, the vocabulary that you need, you need to know that this word fits with this sentence, basically. Um, and the answer is four, meet everyone's demands. Uh, now, that might sound strange because the word meet is like meeting someone or to greet and say hello. Um, I don't like this question. Okay, here's why. Answer number two, complete and four, meet both make sense. Demands, that means you, everyone is happy. Um, if you meet everyone's demands, everyone is happy. It means the same thing. Um, so it's very strange that they've included both complete and meet in the same answers. Uh, I think they're looking for four meet demands because that is a collocation. That is two words that go together a lot. Um, the answer is four, but second nice nah, bad, bad question writing, in my opinion. Question number six. Write a list of everything you need for the camping trip. Blank, you might forget to buy some things. As a result, in addition, otherwise, therefore... My laptop just told me it needs to restart. Please don't do that. Stop that. I am recording. Yep. Otherwise, I think. Otherwise, you might forget to buy some things. Yeah. Um, answer is three. Otherwise, these are all fantastic words to use in writing. I think it's quite easy. Okay. Uh, question number seven. Text messaging has become a common blank of communication between individuals. Mean, meaning, means, meant. Oof! Uh, difficult question. Very difficult question because um, the, the word mean is in all four of them. Uh, so you just have to know the difference between each meaning. Answer here is three means. Um, common means of communication means like type. Oh god, the word means is starting to mess with my head. I'm saying it so much. So means, means, means means type of. Uh, so another example, uh, the bus is the most common means of public transportation. Buses are the most common means of public transportation. That means that most people will take the bus. Question 8. I was blank when I watched the completely blank ending of the movie. Okay. So we've got two words here. Shocked, surprised. Shocked, surprising. Shocking, surprised. Shocking, surprising. Okay. So you've got I was shocked or I was shocking. You cannot be shocking. I was shocking. Doesn't make sense at all. Answers number three and four. Wrong. Surprised or surprising? Um, my dog's barking from downstairs. Ulusay! Ulusay. Doesn't work on dogs. The surprised ending of the movie? That would be used to describe a person, not a thing. So the answer here must be surprising. Then the answer is two. Shocked and surprising. Question number nine. <laughs> blank is no blank. The increase in traffic on this highway during holidays. It is no avoid. It is no avoiding. There is no avoid. There is no avoiding. Remember this phrase. There is no verb. That means that there's nothing you can do about a certain situation, okay? There is no avoiding the increase in traffic on this highway during holidays. That means there's nothing you can do about the traffic. You can't escape it. You have to just drive through the traffic. You have to just put up with it, basically. But the answer is four. There is no avoiding. Question number 10. The police officer asked the witness, A, the situation as B, as possible. Okay. Describing the situation as accurate as possible. Describing the situation as accurately as possible. To describe the situation as accurate as possible. To describe the situation as accurately as possible. 
If the police officer is asking the, the witness to do something, to do something, then you need two in front of it. So the answer is immediately either three or four. Accurate, accurately. It's an adverb. L-Y. Anasar. Which means, the police officer asked the witness to describe the situation as accurately as possible. These last three questions, uh, 8, 9, 10, with two words to fit in, quite difficult, I think, um, because you have to think of grammar rules twice as much. Does that make sense? Like, very much for watching. See you in the next video.